So let's talk about exercise 6.2, uh, example 6.2, sorry. So we have a wire, which we can imagine as a cylinder, that carries a current inside of it. Uh, in this case, going up, it's going to appear on the other side, on the outside. But you know what the current is, of course, on the inside. And the um, a rod, actually, not even a wire. The rod is made of copper, so we know that it's going to be, uh, the dipoles will point in the opposite direction because it's diamagnetic. So JB will point in the opposite direction of the current. Oops, JB, okay. And KB instead will be pointing up. We don't exactly care about it right now. Um, so, we can use our Ampere law in the integral form and say that integral of H is equals to, sorry, over the L, of course, is equals to um, our current free and closed. So now we're going to have different examples. The first one I want to take is where we have a uh, radius smaller than the rod. So we have this bar here. Or if I were to draw it where we can see hole, we have something like this. Oops, this is not a circle. I want to make it as much of a circle as possible. Okay, so uh, if we do this, we find out that the surface area of the cylinder that we're going to draw with this certain radius that goes down uh, is going to be equals to 2hs that multiplies h, 2 pi s, I don't know why I said h, 2 pi s that multiplies, what is the current free and closed? Well, in this case, it's going to be equals to the current, uh, sorry, the, the, the area that we have in the center, so I'll just say current, times the area at the center, so pi s squared, because our radius is s, over the total radius of our rod, so pi r squared, if we said that the radius of our rod is r. Okay, so now we can solve the pi over here, and we get that, oh, and we can solve the s on each side, and we get that h is equals to i times s over 2 pi r squared. Now, this is in the case where we have, oh, sorry, also it's pointing along the phi hat direction. So this is the case where s is less or equals to r. So we're inside the wire. Now what if we're outside the wire? Well if we're outside the wire then our formula would change like this. So 2 pi s then the uh, charge enclosed is going to be equals to i then pi s squared Um, I believe I made a mistake. Let me find it. Somehow we ended up without this pi. Um, not 100% sure why, but I'm just going to go with the book. So I guess it's something like this. If we cancel out the S and the S, and we end up with H to be equals to i s over 2 pi. Mm. Oh, oh, I see what I made a mistake. Okay. So here it would be just simply i s because we are a certain distance. And so h is equals to i over 2. No, sorry, I'm making a mistake somewhere. Okay, yeah, so the current inside is simply equals to I, because that's the current of the wire. So the current enclosed is I. Be, I mean, I times 1. It doesn't, doesn't really matter. So we have H is equals to I over 2 pi S, always in the phi hat direction. And this is in case S is greater or equal to R. Okay, 
And of course, now you can see if as s is equals to r, you can use either formula and you will get the same result. Also, one other thing that we can say is if s is greater than r, so we're outside, there's not going to be any surface charge affecting us. Because as, as we've said before, the surface charge will be pointing upwards, not outwards. So that means that H, which was equals to B over mu naught minus M, sorry, minus, yeah, sorry, M, uh, will be simply, well, we say that uh, KB is equals to cross, I'm sorry, the, this part, so the uh, curve of M, so we just say that it's equals to zero, so M is equals to zero. Um, so we have H is equals to uh, B over mu naught, or H mu naught is equals to B. So we can say that B is equals to mu naught times what we found before to be H, so this part over here. So I over two pi S, I over two pi S. Always again in the phi hat direction, because we're talking about, oh sorry, I didn't explain. Phi hat direction, because we're talking about cylinders, so the curve will always be pointing in this, oops, of course, not a straight line, in this direction. And there's the direction of phi. This phi hat. And uh, there's a pretty interesting result, because as you can see, we don't need to find much. We just need to find the uh, charge that is enclosed in there. And that is all that we need to find.